Amen. Amen. Welcome to the house of God. Glory. It's God wants to move. It ain't me. It's God wants to move in this last day. Now, I'm expecting, Pastor. You know, when I was a kid, we didn't have the world's greatest Christmas. But what little we did get, I was like, yes, Lord, anything you can give me, I will take it. Yes. And that's why right now, when I go to church, Sister Gloria, when you've been out in sin, you think that next little bump is going to do it. But I found out that bump of the Holy Ghost is what yes. I want. It's what I need each yes. and every day because that's my life, brother. Amen. I tried everything else the world has. And it did nothing. Come on. Come on. So now that I finally quit playing church two and a half years ago, that's all I want. I want Jesus. And it's like, Brother Mark, Mary, and y'all, you know, when you're on a ladder and you're climbing, you can only stay on that one step so long, brother. And you've got to go up. Yeah. I don't want to go down anymore. Come on. I've been down enough. Come on. Yes. When you want to get down to the bottom far enough, all you've got is to go up. Yes. And God will give me a few little words to say. Don't worry, I'm not all in it. I got a big mouth, but I ain't all in it. Come on. Glory to God. Amen. And the little title of it is Don't Lose Out with Christ. Mm, don't lose out with Christ. And the first one is in Luke 19, 1 through 6. It's, and it says, uh, and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came into the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. You know, Dad, everybody talk about it, or Pastor Dad, everybody talk about a tax collector. Uh -huh. I don't know nothing really about him, brother, because I ain't never been in no upper income bracket. But most of the people I know that are in one, they hate to see March or April come around because you got to dig deep, deep in that wallet to <clears throat> give the man what he wants. Yes. And I've got a number of little scripture in there. Mark 10 and 46. This is about blind Bartimaeus. And, and they came to Jericho. This is Jesus and his disciples. And they came to Jericho, and he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great number of men, number of people, pardon me. Blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, <coughs> sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he cried the more a great deal. And the son of David, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Yes. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort. Yes. Rise, he calleth thee. You know, when you're really desperate for God to move, Sister Glory, you're not down there. Now nah, lay me down to sleep. And say, Jesus, I got some need. Ain't nobody else can help me. Please, Lord, help me. I got a bad, I have to say it like this, but I got a son that has no desire to serve God. And if you look at the paper, brother, and you read in the paper, Israel is God's time clock. So, if you ain't living for the Lord, it could, it could come now. While I'm running my big mouth, brother, Jesus could come now. Come on. With the eastern sky. And we'd all be gone, Sister Mario. Nothing else to put up with. No aches, no pains, come on. anything but our heart deserves. You know, Dad, when I was a little boy, my daddy had a John boat. Yes. 
And he would always get on to me, brother, because I love to have my feet in the water. Oh, I love to have my feet in the water. But now I'm going to stick my feet in the river of life, Dad. I'm going to stick my feet in the river of life. Yes. And ain't nobody going to say, son, don't make too much noise. The fish ain't going to bite. But it was just something I loved to do. I love to have my feet wet and enjoy the cool breeze, the beautiful water, all the things that God has made. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. And I got another scripture in uh, Genesis 32. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And 24. Thank you, 24. It says, And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he provoked, oh, sorry, that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. And he wrestled with him. And he said unto him, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. Before that, I read the Bible, and Jacob means deceiver. Uh -huh. So he got a lot of things, brother, that he wasn't supposed to get. But when he had that mindset, God I'm going to get what I want to get. No matter how long I have to get on my face, Sister Glory, I'm going to get what I want to get. Yes. I want my children in church. Yes. I want yes. my children to have the Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. So when the Spirit of God come by, they want to do something besides play on their cell phone, brother. Because yes. i got a bad habit about playing on my cell phone. But a cell phone is my great distraction. That and that TV remote. If I spend as much time in the Word of God as I do on that cell phone and watching Gunsmoke or whatever's on TV, I'd be a lot farther in God than I am now. As an old man getting close to 62, I know that's young compared to you, but a lot of people at work can say, oh, he's just an old man. He's out of touch. He don't know nothing about what's going on. So what little I do know comes from the Word of God. Yes. God is God, on, and He yes. always will be God. Come on. And he, can, he can do with me whatever He wants to. He can finally say, I've had it with that little man with the big mouth. His time is up. My heart stops. I die. There ain't nothing I can do about it. I can go to the finest hospital in Oklahoma, which is in Texas. If, if it's my time, brother, it's my time. There ain't nobody can help me. Nobody can save me. They put that machine on me, Sister Glory. Made me live a little bit, but once that big peanut head of mine is gone, I ain't got enough sense, I guess, to make my heart beat. But God has my heart. He holds, what is it, breath in He holds my breath, my heart, my yes. little stumpy legs to yes. move. He can say what he want about me and make me do what he wants to do. Oh, oh. Long as I'm like, Jeremiah went to what? The yes. potter's house? And he said, make me like a, make me like that, what was it? That fine bowl or whatever the potter had on the, the right. wheel. You know, before, brother, I would always fight. I didn't want to do it. I wanted to do my own thing, but then finally I woke up. And yes. it's like, not what I want to do, it's what God wants to do with this. Because if I'm not Bible and he can't use me, I had to park on the bench. And on the bench, Pastor, Dad, I don't think any, I don't think it's gonna fly away. I ain't hoss enough to throw it around. Yes. Yep. Sorry, brother. I'm on the board and I just get excited. I got a big mouth. I always get excited. You know, Jesus is good. He All the time. Up. When the sun wakes up, you know, the other day, brother Michael, I was thinking about this and I was praying and the Lord told me, "What if I took a day off, boy?" Hmm. Who's going to rise the sun? Yeah. Who's going to set the sun? Come on. Who makes the wind to blow, Mom? Come Not on. me. All I can do is that I, the, I hope the wind Come blows. Come on. And you might have an office. Because if it don't blow, this little fat man, he sweats fast. And he gets hot and he can't take it. Go ahead. Yeah. 
And I got another scripture in Psalms 51 and 17. Sorry about this. Go ahead. Let me start on 16. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O oh God, thou wilt not despise. You know, Dad, I'm kind of dumb, so I had to look up contract. When my heart is broken, brother, God can do something with me, but when my heart is hard, like that concrete or asphalt out there, God can't do nothing with me. Dad, when I was, when me and Sister Diane was first married, we had a little piece of ground that we were renting, and that ground was so hard, we had an old timey rototiller, brother, with the little pine mills in front, and you could just sit out there, Dad, I had watched her. Boom, 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 boom. That put up them ties would just bounce, brother, and up, and it wouldn't cut into the ground. So God told me, said, you know, it talks about that, Dad. Break up your fallow ground. See, I had a lot of fallow ground, brother, because I didn't want God to leave me. I wanted to do my own thing. And when in doing your own thing, sometimes, you know, I can help you just a little bit more. So when I get in there, I mess it up, Sister Glory. Come on. Because I want my kids to act right, but they're grown. Yeah. Once your kids is grown, it ain't no more tune-up, which you still want to give them the tune-up, but you have to let them be grown and you have to let them do their own thing, Dad. But I just love the Lord, appreciate his goodness and mercy. And the contract spirit, see, when I'm broken and contract, he can work with me. But when I'm hard-headed, he can't do nothing. It's just more like, Amen. okay, God, yeah. why can't I hear from you, God? It's about, okay, boy, I done done my part. I hung on the cross. What else could I do for you? Yeah. You know, when he was on the cross, I was on his mind because the many times I failed him. You know, when a baby is little, he falls on his head or whatever he falls. So I failed so many times, Dad. Yeah. But after a while, I finally... I'm putting down the baby bottle, brother, and I want some of the meat out of this word. Yes. Because that's what makes me grow. I don't want to grow out no more, but I want to grow in God. Yes, amen. Because there ain't, there ain't, tell me, Dad, there ain't no stopping spot, is there? No. You've been living for the Lord, what, 70 years or whatever? Mom, you've been living for the Lord. Lots of you have been living for the Lord a long time. But there is no spots. Excuse me. No stopping place. No turning back. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead. And I've got one more scripture. Second Chronicles seven and fourteen. <laughs> And it's a very common scripture. It says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Yes. So, you know, brother, he's done everything he can do. Come on. If I don't pray, if I don't seek his face, it's on me. You know, Dad, I've always heard there's going to be a great revival before the Lord comes. Yes. And I'm hungry. I'm so hungry to see it. I'm so hungry to see blind eyes open. Yes. Deaf ears open. Yes. People that are lame have a hard time like Mom walking. I want to see her just come on. sprint around the church. You know, when the Holy Ghost, Mom, when I first started to court Diane, we would go to service because I, that was my only strength, brother, to quit all the stuff that I had done in the world. So we would go to service and man, people would shout. They would talk in tongues. They would run all around the church when the Spirit of God hit them. Yes. And that's what I'm hungry for. I appreciate y'all's time.